In this lesson, we'll continue a review of Math Test 7, Section 4, Calculate Permitted, Questions 35 and 36. We're getting toward the end of the grid in section and, and the end of the math test, the whole test. All right, we've got two equations. If the ordered pair x, y satisfies the system of equations above, what is one possible value of x? We see this phrase on grid in sometimes. One possible answer means there is more than one correct choice. You just have to select one. And a good technique, as soon as you see two equations that are set to the same variable, it could be two functions that are both f of x equals, you can set them equal to each other. Just set both of these equal. And that's exactly what we can do here and we're only dealing with x. So I'm just going to take the left side, the uh, right side of this first equation, we get x squared minus 4x plus 4, and I'm going to set it equal to this because they're both equal to y, equals 4 minus x. So there's a couple ways to do this. Remember, there are more than one correct choice. The first way is what we can do, let's see, we know the 4s are going to cancel out, right? So these are gone. Now you can move an x to this side, and you would add x, and then you're going to get x squared minus 3x equals 0. And this will give you one answer. All right, how do we, what, what works here to make this 0? Well, it would have to be 0. x would have to be 0, and that's an answer to us. So if x is 0, that's one choice. You could just stop there. Now, the other way to do it is you could move the variables on opposite sides. And so what I mean by that is we're going to move this the fours are going to cancel out, but we're going to add 4x to both sides. So we get x squared. We're going to get equals 3x. And now what we can do is we can divide both sides by an x. And we get a single x equals 3. And that's the other answer. Again, either one of these, 3 or 0, is correct. You just have to select one. All right, let's take a look at 36. In the figure above, the tangent of B equals 3 fourths. If BC equals 15 and D equals 4, what's the length of DE? There might be one trig question on the, on the exam. It's usually just a basic SOHCAHTOA. So here, the tangent of B, here's B. The tangent of B is 3 fourths. And it, whenever you see this type of question, think about SOHCAHTOA. Tangent is TOA, and so that's TOA tangent is opposite over adjacent. So here's B, opposite over adjacent, 3, 4. So we know this ratio, this is 3, and the adjacent, obviously both of these are adjacent, but it's the adjacent that's not the hypotenuse. And so this is 4. And then we're given lengths. We're given that BC equals 15. Okay, so by the way, before we think about this 15, we have a three and a four in a right angle. You should recognize this is the special triangle. This is the, the most basic triple of all, three, four, five. And so this is five. Now I'm not saying this is five. In fact, it's 15, but it's the same proportion. And so once you figure out three, four, five, then they give you the 15. You know that it's really five times three, the hypotenuse. And this is also gonna be that same factor. It's gonna be three times three. And so this is really nine. Now. And this last one is going to be 12. So we're all multiplying them by 3. We haven't changed the proportion because 9 over 12 is the same as 3 fourths. But if you think about it, we have a 3, 4, 5. Sorry, a little hard with those colons. We're multiplying everything by 3, and we get 9, 12, 15. All right, so BC is 15. And we're also told that DA is 4. Okay. So if this is 4, remember, we know that the true value is 12. That means this is 8. And so this smaller triangle within the bigger one is really 2 thirds. It's 8 out of 12. And the question is asking for DE. And this is the same proportion. So we're dealing with this smaller triangle in relation to the big one. We know that the, the true side is 9 for this. And we want that same ratio, 2 thirds, just like 8 over 12 is 2 thirds. And so we want two-thirds of nine, and so DE is six. So this is just a ratio question, and with basic SOHCAHTOA, again, might be one trig question on the test, but knowing your special triangles will help.